It's kind of a science fiction, psychological terror horror movie. It takes place on a spaceship um, about 40 years in the future, and it's a multi-generational uh, space mission to another planet, a newly discovered planet. It's gonna take about 80 years to get there. And the story is really about a crew, the first crew, um, who are this group of 30 young people who've been raised in isolation so they won't miss Earth. And it's about them living in this spaceship, basically this confinement for the rest of their lives. And at a certain point in the story, they discover a secret about the mission, something they're not supposed to know. And after that, everything starts to descend into chaos. All the carefully planned mission just gradually comes apart. On the one hand, they're supposed to be, as I said, they, don't, they lack an individuality to start with. They've, they've grown, they've been brought up in isolation. They've never known anything about the earth. Now they're on this confined ship. Um, so on one hand, they had to be able to act that. It sounds easier than it is, but they had to sort of get rid of all their modern idiosyncrasies, all their nervous energy out the window and just get rid of all of that. But on the other hand, they all had to obviously have a, a personality and a sort of a soulfulness that emerges out of that. Or depending on who the character was, it's kind of a wildness or a deviousness or a defiance or an anger or a hatred. Um, so we have a really diverse group of people in the movie and um, who are all amazing. You know, they're all rising stars. Some of them are stars like Ty, Ty Sheridan and certainly Lily Rose Depp is well known by everybody now. And, um, and, but what was important for me was that they all be able to really deliver strong performances. And to me, it was the movies all, if it's all about human nature, then it's all about these characters. Um, and, uh, and it was critical that, you know, we assemble a cast that, that we could believe and, and believe would be on this ship and, and also believe that they would act out. For the character of Richard, I needed somebody that was fundamentally good with an incredibly generous empathy. And with Colin, you just see it all in his eyes. You know, you, you know how he's feeling. Um, and so he was perfect to play this guy who really sacrifices his life for these young people. Um, he also has a secret. He knows, he knows the secret of the mission. Um, and he, he believes in the mission, but he also is torn because he's keeping it from these, from these kids who he's so devoted to and, so, and cares so much about. Um, and he's, he's not a good liar actually. And, uh, and they sense that he's hiding something. And even though he's given everything to them, they begin to distrust him because of that, because they sense he's not telling them everything. And Colin was just able to play all of that uh, so well. And, you know, it was a real pleasure for me as a director to watch. I think that, that audience, first and foremost, are going to be watching something that's kind of an edge of your seat thriller. Um, the suspense is so intense um, in it that it's, it just has like this agonizing tension over the course of it as you kind of watch these characters trying to decide what they are going to do in this, you know, under just like really, really intense circumstances and how they're going to make their way um, through this. They're sort of trapped in this confined ship um, and as everything is all moral order is breaking down. And it's like, what are they gonna do to, you know, to survive this ordeal? I think that's what they're, what they're first, going, first and foremost going to feel. Um, and so it's also about this kind of awakening of, of, you know, what it is to be human, the sensual desires. And so it has this, it has this kind of euphoric thriller quality to it. And it, it's, um, you know, it just becomes this wild ride.